to all heads of delegations that are with us. Executive Secretary of Alba TCB, may you all be welcome and receive a warm welcoming also from the General of Army, Raul Castro. It is very stimulating to see you personally and retake our meetings in Havana, and this is very inspiring. Not just be because our closeness, and this is a signal that, that we are getting out of an enormous sanitary crisis, and we did, and we do this to celebrate the 20th summit of Alba TCB and celebrate the 17th anniversary of its foundation by the historical leaders Fidel Castro Russo and Hugo Rafael Chavez. Today, we give a warm welcome to Saint Lucia, who is again sitting at this table, and I am proud to be the host of this. We're very happy over the victory achieved by the party of Venezuela in recent elections. The results the results were a kind of all uh, was a kind of hit to all the campaigns against the Bolivarian uh, Republic that has withstood all the attacks in a certain way in a very certain way the revolutionary forces have proved that the reason and truth is in their ha hands and the destination of Venezuela is decided by the Venezuelan people and not by the and not, and not by the interests that are coming from abroad. Nicolás, once again we stress our support, solidarity and friendship with the people that you preside. Likewise, we express congratulations to Commander President Daniel Ortega over the victory in the recent elections in Venezuela, in Nicaragua. Once again, and despite the strong campaigns of this credit, the Nicaraguan people joined the reconciliation government. And we, we say once again our support, we express our support and solidarity. The recent attempt of destabilization in Bolivia saw a strong response by the Bolivian people together with President Luis Arce, to whom we also express our commitment and solidarity. We are with you, Brother Lucio. We are also together with friends and brothers in the Caribbean to receive a just and fair treatment that is so necessary to face the challenges of natural disasters and the unfair international system, banking system, financial system, and the conditions that are imposed by the pandemics. Dear friends, with pandemics, the indexes of poverty and unemployment have raised in Latin America and the Caribbean. The unfair international order and the secondary role reserved for the region has aggravated this panorama. The most terrible thing is that the emergency, global emergency, did not stop the taking of neoliberal measures that ransack the resources of the South. National interests were privileged in those countries that had more resources to face the pandemic. In a criminal way, we see the application of protectionist measures that hinder the more needed the access of medical resources, artificial respirators, respirators, vaccines and diagnosis, tests. As a result of egoism, political egotism, 
We saw the speed with which sci scientific scientists found vaccines under these conditions. We can see the mechanisms are not enough to phase the pandemic and the crisis as a result of the pandemic. The objectives have not been able to be met. And aware of this dramatic situation, imperialism, North American imperialism, not only did not stop the plans of domination in our region, but also progressive forces and social movements responded with an articulation to resist the pressures. Several members of this mechanism have been victims of the application of coercive measures that became stronger in the worst moment of the pandemics, appealing to political maneuvers that were supported in lies and the power of imperialism. They have continued to use a number of these measures to destroy us. Cuba continues being the main objective of the, of the policy of the government of the United States that in an opportunistic way use the pandemic as an ally, as an ally to try to defeat the revolution. They attacked and damaged with campaigns and pressures of all kinds. although they did not manage to get much with this maneuver. Today, I would like to thank for the samples of solidarity and help that was received by many of you during the most intense moments of the crisis in our situation. For these and other reasons, it is very hypocritical the call by the U.S. administration to a so-called or ill-called democracy summit that, 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 that was refused by several of the states represented here. It is impossible to call it a democracy. It actually, it actually should be called the summit of non-democracy because democracy does not base its force in the power of money. For those who are here, money is not the most important thing, and we do not fit in the molds that they have designed. Alba de Cepe is fed with solidarity and cooperation, and is strengthening the power of the people to transform. In the midst of the worst situation the world is going through, Alba did not miss its route. We supported and embraced the principle of alliance and solidarity and cooperation south-south. The volcano that affected St. Vincent and the Grenadines also saw the opportunity to show that solidarity within Alba. Venezuela has proven it. Under the economic war they are facing, they were, they were ready to fight to fight the pandemics, and so they did so together with Cuba, Nicaragua, Bolivia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, St. Christopher and Nieves. In, in difficult circumstances, they sent donations to Cuban people, vaccines. The vaccines that our doctors created are shared. At the same time, a number of professionals and, and doctors from Cuba cooperate in the assistance. This summit is the top moment of a long work of alliance and also the celebration of the ninth summit of our mechanism on June 25th at the Republic of Venezuela. They both serve to move ahead a number of programs. We have a lot to do, and we are aware. And this is why the call to continue strengthening the alliance in that road now 
I invite you to share ideas. I transmit the commitment of Cuba with integration, with the development of CELAC, and also the call for the Latin American and Caribbean region as a zone of peace. Cuba will not stop in its intention to build a more humane, fair, solidarity and internationalist society. We can, we can also march in very tight groups, as a phrase exposed by Jose Marti, that belong to the essay for the Americas. Fidel and Chavez moved ahead more than anybody else in that road. The followers, the disciples, we have the honor of developing this magnificent work. Thank you.